here we are on day five already in not worrying and giving up worry for Lent. Our thought for the week, nothing is more destined to create deep-seated anxieties in people than false assumption that life should be free from anxiety. That was said by our venerable Fulton J. Sheen. Beware of your enemy's tricks. On the first Sunday of Lent, we are asked to be sober, be watchful. Your adversary, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion, seeking someone to devour. 1 Peter 5.8 In today's Reflections Gospel reading, as well as the first letter of Peter quoted above, we learned a valuable lesson about Satan. He is extremely confident and persistent, and why I don't want to give him too much credit. We do need to take him seriously. If he had the audacity to tempt Jesus, don't think for a minute that he won't try to tempt you, too. He will. Unfortunately for all of us, he is good at what he does. Trying to get us to turn away from God, he strikes where we are our weakest. Satan has many different tricks up his sleeves, but he often tempts those of us who are anxious in the same way, by playing into our fears. He wants us to worry. Why? Because when we worry, we are moving away from God and focusing on ourselves. That makes the evil one happy. We get into the difference between fear and worry in the days to come. But just be aware that they are two different things. Fear is an emotion and it's morally neutral. Worry is an action that can be controlled. Even though Satan can be very sneaky, there is no need to panic. He can't make you do anything though he will use all kinds of tricks and tactics to get you worried. According to the Catechism of the Catholic Church, the power of Satan is nonetheless not infinite. He is only a creature, powerful, powerful from the fact that he is pure spirit, but still a creature. He cannot prevent building up God's reign. He can lie to you, he can tempt you, but Satan can't make you turn away from God and commit a sin. He does not have that power over you. Know that he is going to pester you. Know that he rejoices when you worry. But always remember the words of Jesus and get in the habit of using them. Get behind me, Satan. From Mount 16, 23. To respond, sometimes Satan is responsible for your worrying and sometimes he isn't. Regardless of his role in it, the evil one is ecstatic whenever you do succumb to worry. It may sound overly simplistic, but a good spiritual rule of thumb is to avoid doing anything that makes Satan happy. The following prayer invokes the intercession of St. Michael the Archangel and is a good one to pray every day. It will help. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be against be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of Heavenly Host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl around the world seeking to ruin the souls. Amen.